from the liminal word limen, meaning a threshold. Liminality is a condition in which one's sense of identity is diffused, leading not only to states of dislocation and disorientation, but also to the possibility of new perspectives. Points of Departure is a group exhibition and public program that culminates a year collaboration between Delphina Foundation, Art School Palestine, the British Council, and the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London. The first outcomes of Points of Departure were exhibited in Ramallah at Al Mahatta Gallery in January 2013. المشروع بدأ عبارة عن تبادل ثقافي وريزيدنسي بين فلسطينيين فنانين فلسطينيين وبريطانيين وبالإضافة لكيوريترز مقيمين معارض فلسطينيين وبريطانيين الهدف منه هو تبادل الخبرات بين الفنانين الفلسطينيين والبريطانيين وبالإضافة تدريب كوادر جديدة في مجال التقييم المعارض. The artists have included Jumana Emil Abud, Bashar Ahub, Bissan Al Bou Eshe, Jeremy Hutchinson. Olivia Plender and Nathan Witt. Devised with two curators in residence, Mirna Mamiya and Rebecca Held. I tend to make work which, I'm, uh, which deals with questions to do with historical narration. So uh, one of the kind of big themes that I've been kind of looking at over the last few years is sort of thinking about history and how we tell the story of history. I want to work with a theatre group here, um, so I've been I've been trying to sort of talk to different theatre groups and find a, find a group to work with, you know, um, and develop develop some kind of improvisation um, with them and work with you know people from here. different mediums, you know, I've uh, developed my practice from painting and now I use different mediums in my work. I focus more about uh, the body and the space in my work related to my childhood. During my residence I try to find uh, artworks for artists I'm interested about their work. Uh, I went to many exhibitions in, and museums, they have some artwork of some artists really I'm interested about their works. I think this will be interesting uh, experience for me and for the other artists, you know, uh, to exchange the experience, uh, the ideas to, to develop our works together with the two curators, you know, one from Palestine and one from, uh, from England. Being a resident here at the same time of the Palestinian artists was really nice. So this whole process and this whole program is really interesting for me because I haven't done this before as a curator. So it was really challenging and really nice for me and I needed to find my way of how can I uh, uh, benefit the most from this experience. Welcome to the second in our series of events called The Knowledge um, East Jerusalem. Okay, so I'm going to, as Sasha said, talk about um, the organization where I work. It's called the Mamal Foundation for Contemporary Art. And the Mamal in Arabic is, uh, um, means the workshop or factory space. say something. I, there, there was always something in my heart, something in my mind that I, I, I needed to comment on something, I needed to, to respond on something. And I've been all my life moving from one medium to another. So it's been an incredible success in that it's exceeded our expectations about the possibility for the project to gain a quite high visibility 
in both places. And we're really looking forward to the ICA exhibition because it's going to be a very significant opportunity to present the work of these artists. My practice is just like, you know, I'm on my own in a room writing most of the time. I'm kind of like, you know, and I've got all this other baggage with art as well as that political baggage. So I kind of started making text as a way of like, A, addressing like that emotional aberration, instability kind of thing, but also just trying to learn as much as I can and like, you know, whether it's history or philosophy or just poetry or writing lists. I think I, got, I first got into it because I was interested in the, in the cult of ocularity or visual culture, Arab and Hebrew and Christian society. They can't, they, can't, they can't collectively agree on what the day of the week is or what the, we the working week is or what the year is kind of thing. I'm really interested in this slippage between times. So for example, it's the year 5,772 in Hebrew, it's 1433 in the Hijriot. You know, just a traditional scientific objective analysis and data just to prove objects non-objects outside of this uh, religious time-based pretext. I work with sculpture, I work with installation, I work with um, things, ordinary stuff, the stuff of everyday life, I suppose, you know. I'm kind of interested in uh, consumerism, in shopping, what people buy. This is the sort of material I work with. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the world already. There's a lot of plastic, there's a lot of metal, there's a lot of uh, organic matter. I don't really feel like as an artist I need to create any more stuff. I like to change the way we read the stuff that's already around us. So coming to the supermarket is the best way to sort of uh, gauge some of the economic and social relationships between people and things. كل الفنانين اللي شاركوا معنا بالمعرض هذا وبالبرنامج كله بدونهم ما كان راح يصير المعرض بشار حروب وشبانة عبود معنا موجودين هون فسقفة كبيرة لهم لكل الفنانين الباقيين اللي شاركوا So this project working as a curator was quite a challenge um, because coming into it there were already quite a thing, few things that were already decided um, but it was really encouraging because from the beginning we were asking a lot of the same questions so you know all these artists, they are being given a great opportunity over these two months. And in a, in a sense, we didn't want to dictate too much what they should be doing in that time. And we were conscious of trying to make a show that tied together in some way. And then we did what, what I think you should always do, which is we came back and we looked at the artists and their applications and, and what they were saying and what their artwork was. Tonight's exhibition um, is the first presentation of some of the outcomes of that project. So it's each artist's own response to the idea of liminality and also the entire project uh, points of departure. Council here in Palestine, our input into the art scene, uh, both in the West Bank, East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip, is a really, really fundamental part of what we do. Uh, we help with the logistics, we, we, we try and help when the British artists come here, obviously we're a point of reference for them, and the same when uh, the Palestinian artists go to the UK. After the, um, the presentation here in Palestine, the show moves on to London in an expanded form this June, and it will first be um, presented at the Institute of Contemporary Arts in London as part of Shabbat, which is a, a festival of contemporary art culture. 